back on Create. Nobody has to know I've been doing all of my farming over here. Wait, you know. Oh, shoot. Did you follow me? I think you followed me. Well, this is my secret. I've been working in Create and a few other modded mods are on this server and oh my villagers are kind of excited up there uh, goodness where to start where to start well come out come along come along let me take you to my plantain plantain banana plantain shun you think it's funny right yes i know you think it's funny this is crete this is, this is the server that I've been playing on with my husband recently, and we have a whole bunch of mods on here, and number one is Create. You'll notice that there's windmills spinning, and if you look across the bay, I have a windmill over there too. And I'll take you on a tour of all of this here shortly, but this is the plantain shin. I had to have a funny pun on this one, and lots of modded blocks lots of yes i'm bananas uh lots of fun different things that we can do on create and no i'm not just on create because everybody else seems to be doing it lately we also just i've, I've used this mod before for multiple things we also have neapolitan we have farmer's delight and i think we have like two or three other mob heads that sort of thing so kitchen kitty cat lots and lots of cakes this is this is why i love modded look at all these beautiful cake types that we can make we can make sushi we can make uh candied ham pumpkins all sorts of things um i have mob heads turned on and i keep finding axolotls over there in the river so i have not killed these i promise they're they're my plushies they just come up from the river all by themselves I have a little bit of a map of things that have been growing. Oh, I actually need to update this. There we go. We have the greenhouse on there. Our area is in a jungle biome. Actually, it's on a stony shore that I have converted right next to a dark forest and a bamboo jungle and then full jungle. And this is actually a lake. I don't I haven't filled that in yet. But enchanting setup. I have a few of my important villagers up here right now. Hi, guys. And mending villager, of course. Don't have them converted, but you know, that works. Um, Create has awesome little stools and things. My own personal bedroom where I keep different things. And in the attic, I am creating my. My mob head, evil mob head collection. Yes, I will include them as evil. Um, obviously, we also have um, JEI and uh, and mini map and the mini map, so you can see the mini map. Again, I I love Mana, and somehow I have already managed to get a trident. I I don't even have another eight gear yet, but I have a trident. So, coming around here on the house, though, is where Create begins. This is this is where Create begins, the regular vanilla Minecraft, or slightly modded Minecraft, ends, and Create begins. And this is my giant mechanical crafter machine. It took so long to create this. I have all of my gear spinning. This whole concoction and craziness here actually runs off of the windmill that's out front. And then we have all of the gears and things that run all of our things. I have my little blaze burner pal. Hey, Blazy. Are you hungry? I could feed you. Whoops. Well, not like that, though. Here. There you go, buddy. Yeah, he's happy now. So in Create, you can uh, use blazes, you can do all sorts of things. There's presser things and spigots that put water, like, dispense things on things. And, well, anyway, 
I'm sure if you've seen anything about Create, you'll know about all of the fanciness. And then we have our, our beautiful grinding gears, which I had to use this huge mechanical crafter to make. And I just, I just love all the things that we can make in Create. But the things that I like the best about Create is the fact that you can, like, there's a lot of decor options. So Cuckoo Clock here rings at the midday and then Cuckoo's right at the time to sleep. But there's also nice little cushions and things and of course all the moving stuff. All the stuff that just you need to move. So right now I have a, I actually have a gear system that runs from here all the way underneath the porch and powers the house. And then over here we have our barn. And I'll get to that too here in a minute. But the barn has all the things that you can think of. So we have our egg laying station with our chicken. I've got pigs. I've got a cow crusher. I've got a sheep farm. Got some llamas that's kind of stumbled in our main farm area out here. And as I said, we do have Farmer's Delight in here too. So there's other types of vegetables we can grow. And then bananas, of course, because this is the plantation. Up here, you can hear them, are our villagers. So we have villagers who will trade four bananas. They'll trade cakes. They'll trade all your regular items too. And I have a couple. I have a mason up here. And then this jungle villager, I haven't come up with what I want yet. Hi! But he was he was actually a zombified villager. And I'm just going to kind of show you real quick. We have a, have a crane coming out. It's This is very similar. The, this barn design is very similar to the one that we have back at the Adventurers Guild. But it's a little more like polished. I, I took all, all the ideas that I had from there and added them all into here and put it all together and then added all of the different kinds of mods. Um, modded blocks and you know like the pretty windows and things all and obviously this is all like cool cut stones that you get from mods. And I really need to get a bee farm go like my bee farm I have to get my honeycomb going because I need that. Uh, but we'll get over there in just a second. But behind the house, we have our rice patties. Rice in here actually grows in water. And then you can harvest the little rice panicle. We have all sorts of other mods and other kinds of veggies. I put up a cactus farm back here. We've got onions, tomatoes, cocoa beans. I've got mushrooms of different types growing. This is another mod that um, you can have very rich soil and it'll grow these giant mushrooms and they give you a lot in just one harvest. And it's getting dark, so we're going to go to bed here. But um, we've got uh, adzuki beans and a vanilla, glowberries, strawberries, sweet berries, mint. So yeah, all the different things to build all the different kinds of foods and cakes we have. All right, so on our way over, this is my iron farm. Now I do, I can't take things back and forth through the portal, obviously. Um, otherwise I would have so much iron and I, I probably need to make one of these honestly in the adventure guild, but I feel kind of bad for the golems, but so much iron, so many poppies, um, just hasn't filled up the second chest yet. We're getting there and golem heads, but we're getting there, but it takes three poor villagers and a zombie and the golems die and well, Kind of feel bad about that a little bit. And why is this fish dead? Oh, try to die again. Oh my goodness. Why? Why are you always there? Stop. There's so many of these in this river biome. Come on. Give me your trident. Nope. Nope. I'm taking it away from you. You you can't play with it properly. Oh my gosh. You took it away. What? What? I, I, 
I guess I really did take it away from him. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. So, no playing with tridents in my river. I will take those toys. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll need to add that to our uh, collection later. And how that be get out? That's that's not good. Where where'd you come from? Where where we you? I'm eating raw fish. I'm I'm upset. There's. Not this bee get out of my my house. Um, hold tight, people. Nope, nope. Come on, guys. Come on. That's a good bees. Okay, there you go. Have some flowers. So bee farm. <laughs> After I rescue a bee. Um. Okay. Let me start over here. Uh, so if you come across the bridge, down the passageway, past the iron farm, we have our, when I'm starting in a semi-industrial sale district, I'm like source district. This is the bee house. This is the bee greenhouse. Again, I'm not sure how the bees got out. It could be because they're right up against the glass. I hope not. Um, or I hope I didn't like leave off a leave off a the, the block somewhere so that they can get in and out um but i've been carrying honeycombs here trying to get the bees bred up and i probably have to breed some more because i don't think all of the hives are quite getting there see they're getting stuck behind there maybe come on no 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 flowers are down in front of you here, take these. Take a couple of these. You'll like these. There you go. Alright, so, bee house. I'm collecting all of that up in order to, um wax the copper that is on that roof over there but we also have it for honey so i can make these cute little honey cookies which are a modded block and then if we come in here is our windmill the windmill was a fun little construction i've had i had i started to put it together and then i took it down and recreated it and I'm still working on the sails. I think I need to add some more to the sails, but they're getting there. But if we come in here, the sails are actually working and they create wind power. And then they power all these gears to create like the mixers and grinding so I can grind flour in here. And then these are rice sacks, but they look like, um, they kind of look like flower sacks and they actually sound like it too. Um, but I had created a, a non-working windmill in one of my other modded games. And I have been waiting forever to actually create a real one that actually does, does stuff. So that is what I have been doing. So, how about we start with the very, very basics of Create, like super, super basic. So, obviously there is a reason that I built this iron farm. We need lots of iron, and we also need to do mining for one very essential thing, andesite alloy which you really need andesite for. So when you're mining and you're going to down, you're getting all your stone, you're all your cobble, you're looking for your iron and all of that, make sure you're picking up every single thing that you can, every single ore, copper included, gold included, raw zinc, which is part of this mod, coal, you want you want every single ore you can find because because it's going to come in handy at some point or another and that includes quartz 
um, includes redstone, get them all, get them all. And then you're gonna start creating. And to very base start for everything is gonna be your andesite alloy, which you're gonna take a smelted iron ingot, you're gonna break it into nuggets. And that is going to create, so two nuggets and two pieces of andesite is gonna give you your alloy. Now your alloy is gonna let you build shafts. And then with shafts, you can build cogwheels. And you can also build like large cogwheels, all of that kind of thing. But you can also build and a site casings. Now we are in currently 1.19.2. So keep that in mind while you're watching this video and doing things because in 16.5 and some of the earlier ones create did not work that way. The recipes have changed over time. So JEI is a beautiful resource for having when you're when you're using create. Um, casings are a little confusing so i will tell you what like just so you have this for your reference in the future a casing is a stripped piece of wood and an alloy and that's going to get you all of the beautiful casings that you are going to need to make basic tools and other types of things you're going to need so for the windmill for instance we took, you're going to come down here and look at your windmill bearings and your mechanical bearings and your windmill bearings are, you're going to have a flat shaft, a granite and the, the shaft, and that's going to create the windmill bearing that you need. And then you can create with your andesite alloy. Again, you need to have your andesite alloy sticks and wool will create uh, sails. So you need the two basic things. You need your, your gear and you need your sails. If you're going to go this route, unless you want to go the water wheel route, the water wheel route is fine too, and it powers things just fine as well. This one, I actually put a piece of jungle wood on top, and then you can turn it on and turn it off. It literally, you just put the, put the thing down and you need sails to start it. And the sails need to be attached to something. And it does not matter what block is here. You can do whatever decoration you want. You can do go all the way up if you want to have something at the top. I only have one block here. The sails are awesome in the way that they join. It literally will give you an arrow. Like if you want it going out, you want it coming up, whatever. It'll give you that arrow to tell you where it's going to go. And then to power everything, you just turn it on. And that would have turned on and off everything that I have down there. Now to join this up, let's see, actually I'll turn it off for a second so you can see. And now I'm going to be stuck here. So I have a mechanical bearing. So you have the bearings that drive everything. And that is made with these andesite casings and cogwheels. So you come over one more page back, I believe. Yep, right here is the gearbox. So you get the casing, you do the cogwheels, and then you can just put it on, you know, your crafting to flip it up and down no matter how you need it. And then you attach everything with the shafts together and the cogwheels. Um, this is actually, these, these mechanical belts are actually made with um, kelp smelted up kelp so it's dried it's like four or six of them or something and they go as long as you need them um so quickly that that uh the windmill comes out has a whole bunch of these casings to switch directions here and there you can kind of see it in there it comes in underneath the porch I have a drive that goes up and then a drive that comes in. And so you see the shafts all join and they join just like the cogwheels do to join. You could put one right here and then you would have the little arrow that would tell you where, which direction it's going to go. And then that is what drives the belts here from here to here. So speed wise, if you're ever having trouble with create, and I had a ton of trouble with create, here's a tip. 
this is going to be your very first wheel. You need a large one to start with. Always start with a very large wheel. Attach it to a little wheel. Attach the little wheel directly to a large wheel. Attach a little wheel to it, a large wheel, etc. And just keep doing that until you get the speed you need. And then, of course, I have a belt that's driving it at a certain speed. And then, again, see large, small to large to small. And then that is the speed I needed, so I kept it all at small. You need it a little faster, you'll just keep adding to it. Small to large, small to large, small to large. So here's large to small to large to small, large, small. And look at how much faster these are going once you get a few more large and small ones in there. A lot of these gears, like the, the pumps, the fluid pumps, they don't need a lot of speed. The clock upstairs does need a lot of speed. Um, the mechanical does need quite a bit of speed, and these guys do need speed. And you can tell if you've got the correct speed if they do this sparkle thing. Let me see if I can get the angle to show you the sparkle. So if you see sparkles, you know you're you're running at the right speed. Otherwise, you're going to need to put a few more small to large gears until you get the speed you need. So it just base and don't step in there. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't step right there because you can damage yourself. So that is my introduction to you to create. And I really hope that um, you kind of enjoyed my little base tour. It's very small. It's very compact. I'm only getting started. If you're interested in more, leave a comment below and we can come back into Create and I can do some more things with you. If we want to do a setup, you know, an actual like, here's how you do it. How do you get things? <laughs> and there's our little cuckoo clock creeper. Um, it's time to go to bed. But I just wanted to show you all another thing that I've been working on in between games while I'm waiting for all of those supplies to smelt up and get ready for the Adventure Guild. And we will come back next week with something new. Have a great one, guys, and see you next Monday.